Hey YouTube, it's me, it's your iPhone Captain. Today I'm going to show you how to add Nintendo 64 emulators to your iOS device. Now, this works on about all iOS devices besides or except the iPad. It doesn't work on the iPad, so keep that in mind. But as far as the iPhone or iPod Touch, you shouldn't have any problems. Now, the first part of this is going to be on the iPhone, and the last part will be over on the Mac, so I can show you actually how to transfer the ROMs. First part is pretty simple walkthrough. What you need to do first is download an Insidia. It's called N64 iOS. Now, this is a paid... tweak and it's one dollar however there are ways if you want to try it first um, as you can see here on the my screen this is a repo from band repo you can try it there free if you want to do that if you want to purchase it you can do that as well but after you install it you're going to get a little icon on your device that looks something like a nintendo let me see if i can find it All right, right here, little green icon in iOS, N64 iOS. And right now, there's nothing in it, guys. It's empty. So I'm going to show you how to put emulators in here. You can actually do it a couple different ways. But now, I want to tell you first that you are required to have your own personal copy of whichever game you download. That's how they get by this legally. So I'm telling you that up front. Only download the games that you have at home and you'll be legal. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to SSH into your device to put the ROMs on. So I'm going to bring you over to the Mac. So let's go over to the Mac. Okay, guys, I'm back on the Mac now and... I should have mentioned this in the uh, iPhone part of the tutorial here. Um, I'm sure you already have it installed, but just to make sure, you also need to have, let me see for certain what it's called. I'm pretty sure it's called Open SSH. Right there, uh, yes. Open SSH. Open. O-P-E-N-S-S-H. You want to install that on your device and make sure you have that installed. That will allow you to do this part here. And I am going to be using CyberDuck. Since I am on the Mac, it only, you know, probably makes sense to a lot of people. But that's what I'm using. There is a version for Windows. It works the same way. So I would recommend using it as well. Uh, you can see right here that I already have ROMs highlighted. So what we can do is we can go all the way back out. If you need to see where this comes from, let's do that. Let's go all the way back out. I'm all the way back to the root. Private var root. And from there, you can go to media. No. This might take a second, guys. Okay, here, you want to go all the way back to the, the main root, which is just the forward slash. And from there, you want to go to VAR, I think. And from VAR, you want to go to Mobile. And from Mobile, you want to go to Media. And scroll down until you see ROMs. Open up ROMs and you will see N64 and it's blank. There's nothing in it. Okay, that's, that's what we expect. Okay, now the next part we need to do is go to Supermar I'm sorry, CoolRom.com and I'm going to install Super Mario 64. And you see here on the uh, screen, all I did was go to CoolRom.com 
right here in the top search box I typed in Super Mario 64 and it popped this up and once it opens you will get a little box that looks something like this right here on your screen and you'll have to watch like six or eight seconds of something there on the screen you don't have to watch the video but it counts down then you need to click download your file and you need to make sure you know where your file is going most people put it on the desktop just to be safe but I didn't and but that don't matter I'll show you how to do this here I'm going to say show in finder and it's in my downloads folder which I already knew where it was because that's where all of my downloads go anyway so now from here now we need to open go back into our SSH my tongue's getting thick tied SSH and in here we're going to drag and drop that's all we're going to do alright you see here we have we're looking for Mario 64 right here and we're just simply going to drag it over and we're going to drop it in right there and that's all we have to do now you see it's in there and now we can go back into our device and we'll play the game so let's go back over to the iPhone okay guys we're back here what I'm going to show you now um, to install Super Mario 64 you simply just click the download now right here click that and you're going to get this little countdown here and once it counts down from 7 to 0 then your download link will pop up now if you are on Wi-Fi you can try getting your ROMs directly through the game or your iPhone let me show you what I mean by that instead of using the SSH method it is possible to open up N64 iOS and tap the search bar right there and when that opens open up cool ROM right here just click on cool ROM and when it opens from here uh, you could let's just tap 25 downloads just just for sake of the video I could go in here and say I want to install Mario Kart okay I'm going to click load and you see it's actually allowing me to do pretty much the same thing I'm gonna click download now confirm and while it's downloading, I want to invite you over to iPhoneCaptain.com and FreeCityOfTweaks.com. So those are two of my sites that I got going on. And please, if you will, subscribe here. And while you're here, go to my Facebook page and like my iPhone Captain Facebook page. Um, I really need to get some more people on there. I've only got like 60 some. I would really appreciate it. I'll try to remember to put a link below to my Facebook so you can remember to click that before you leave also subscribe to my youtube channel here it really helps me out and if you like the video it just helps it rank higher in the search engine so other people can find it and enjoy the games just as you have done all right so now we're done we can go back to recent and see it didn't it, it didn't bring it in but oh well we can uh, reload see if that helps anything alright I got it to work once so you can try it if you want but I showed you how to SHN and you just simply drag and drop that is a surefire way to get it in there you don't have to worry about it but I have gotten it to work that way too so let's go ahead and play this bad boy let's go into I'm gonna leave everything set just like it is okay uh, the skins, I haven't had any luck getting those to work, so you can try those if you want to. That'll be left up to you. And once you have your game downloaded, you need to go back right here where it says Browse. Now actually tap on Super Mario 64, and we're going to play Portrait and Sound. And you can see right there's the skin and 
you click the, the little button right here. You, you got the selections just like you would if you were playing on the actual Nintendo 64. So I'm going to turn this sound down just for a little bit for the time being. Okay, let's go ahead. And the way you do this, you have to tilt the device to get the uh, little hand to go wherever you want it to. It works off the accelerometer. Okay. I'm only going to show you just a brief few short Pretty cool, guys. And you can see there's no lag or anything in it at all, which it works good. Okay, you have to use your accelerometer to walk. And you can see it's doing pretty good. I mean, I can jump, kick. All right, guys. If you have any more questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below and I'll do my best to ask. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and thanks for watching.